Up to this point, our Elden Lore series has focused mainly on characters, monsters, and factions within the Lands Between. Since the early days of our channel, there's one topic that seems to pop up from time to time in our comments section, but we felt it fell a bit outside of what we usually cover. Today I'm going to give these commenters what they've been asking for, and step a bit outside of my comfort zone by discussing the history and possible lore of not a person or a creature, but a land. The land of reeds is where the samurai of Elden Ring hail from, and while there isn't too much information given on this mysterious place just outside of the lands between, we will be exploring what we can know, and the possible connection between the land of reeds and another from software property. Welcome to the Elden Lore series, where we dive into the lore and theories behind the various enemies and factions throughout Elden Ring. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. We hope you enjoy this video. With over 90 episodes in our playlist, we hope you'll be able to find what you're looking for. And if not, feel free to comment with the topics you'd like to know more about. While you're at it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Every subscription helps us grow as a community. You can also feel free to check out our Discord if you want to delve deeper into Elden Ring's story with other FromSoft fans. Whether you subscribe or not, Thanks again for checking out our content, and with that said, let's get back to the topic at hand. If you choose to start the game as a samurai, you begin with the Land of Reed's armor. This armor piece gives us some of the little background available when it comes to this enigmatic continent outside of the Lands Between. Armor made from strips of iron fastened together, worn by the warriors of the Land of Reed's. The grimy outer mantle is made from withered reeds from the warrior's birthplace. Perhaps its comforts extend to nostalgic thoughts of home. The altered version of this armor adds, The land of reeds has long been locked in a miserable civil war, during which time it has remained alienated from the cultures of its neighbors. Little wonder that the entire nation has succumbed to the blood-soaked madness, or so it has been said. From here we learn three things. First, the samurai of the Land of Reeds don armor made from their homeland's namesake. Second, that this homeland stayed locked off from other islands, embroiled in a civil war that seems to mirror Japan's Sengoku period, when social upheavals and civil wars were commonplace. And third, that the entire nation is said to have succumbed to blood-soaked madness. The third point is interesting, given that one of the Land of Reeds' most decorated warriors, Okina, has found himself in the service of the Lord of Blood, Moog. Okina himself does not teach us much about the Land of Reeds outside of his penchant for blood. The Land of Reeds is described as succumbing to blood-soaked madness, and Okina himself dedicated his life completely to the mastery of his blade, to the point where he would leave his disciples and his homeland behind and become a demon of a swordsman. His sword, Rivers of Blood, tells us when Moog, the Lord of Blood, first felt Okina's sword and madness upon his flesh, he had a proposal to offer Okina the life of a demon whose thirst would never go unsated. Presumably, this is when Moog granted the Rivers of Blood the Corpse Piler ability, much in the same way he granted Eleanor's Pole Blade the Pole Blade Dance. There is another blood related Ash of War that is tied directly to the Land of Reeds. Seppuku is a forbidden technique used by swordsmen from the Land of Reeds. Plunge the blade into your stomach to stain it with blood, increases attack power and improves ability to inflict blood loss. So it would seem the rumors of the Land of Reeds being overtaken by blood-soaked madness are at least partially true if its swordsmen literally use their own blood to fight their enemies. There is a second set of armor related to the Land of Reeds, known as the White Reed Set. This set is described as armor of the White Reeds, fashioned from banded iron plates, worn by the Inaba, head disciples of the great swordsman Okina. The Inaba traveled in pursuit of not only the master who abandoned them, but also proper deaths, won honorably through hard-fought combat. To be a White Reed is to seek death, fitting for the Anaba, who desired nothing more than to die by the sword. 
This armor worn by the students of Okina adds more context to the mindset of warriors from the land of reeds. In their mind, a good death, hard won through combat, is more important than anything else. Whether this lesson was instilled in them by Okina himself, or if it is a widespread belief of those living in the land of reeds, is unknown, but we are inclined to believe it's a fairly common practice. This would explain why the civil wars are unending. If warriors believe the ultimate honor is to fall in battle, then battle becomes a way of life. It's also worth noting that Yura seems to hail from the land of reeds, as he's described as a ronin, or a wandering samurai, and wields an impossibly long anime katana, the Nagakiba. It is implied he once carried Eleonora's polearm as well, and gifted it to her in their travels. This explains why a weapon originating from the land of reeds would be wielded by a drake knight. Unfortunately, his armor does not give us any additional insight into his homeland, but he certainly embodies the idea of a ronin, as he seems to have pieced together armor from the lands between and incorporated it into his land of reeds looking set. The Iron Casa is also distinctively eastern when compared to the other headpieces found throughout Elden Ring. This is everything we can possibly know about the Land of Reeds through in-game descriptions, but fans of FromSoft titles have likely gathered that the way this country is described seems to share theming and elements with another game in the Soulsborne series, Sekiro. I myself have always been of the opinion that Elden Ring exists in its own universe, strictly outside of every other FromSoft title. In fact, I recalled Miyazaki saying so himself, and often see others in the community stating the same thing. However, after digging into this, I came to realize I've been living a lie. The most popular sources when people say that Miyazaki has clearly stated that Elden Ring exists as its own piece of media, unconnected, are from his 2019 IGN interviews. I have read these interviews multiple times and can find no evidence of this being said. When referring to Mimics, he does say, you probably won't find Mimics in that exact same form, it's a different world to Dark Souls, and after releasing the Dark Souls 3 DLC, he said he intended to stop working on Dark Souls for a while. The most surprising thing I found while researching this claim is that everything Miyazaki has said about Elden Ring's disconnection to other FromSoft games has only strictly referred to Dark Souls. This opens the possibility that the Land of Reeds is nothing more than another name for Ashina, the Land of Sekiro. While I still believe that the universe of Elden Ring is its own thing entirely with no strict connections to other games, it's hard to ignore all of the parallels between the Land of Reeds and Ashina the eastern influence is apparent, and every weapon forged in the Land of Reeds utilizes a katana blade, just as the most powerful in Ashina do. Even the idea of a land of never-ending civil war could be paralleled with Sekiro, as it also takes place in a fictionalized version of Sengoku-era Japan. This can be taken a step further when looking at the literal translation of the word Ashina, common reed. So it is that the land of the Ashina family could be literally translated as the Land of Reeds. While all of this could be Miyazaki giving us strong nods back to his previous work, as he often does throughout his games, the parallels between the Land of Reeds and Sekiro are particularly strong, and I can't fault or disprove anyone for thinking they are referring to the same place intentionally, especially when the comments made by Miyazaki himself do not seem to extend beyond the Dark Souls series specifically. So what did you think of our breakdown of the lore and theories behind the Land of Reeds? Does this fictionalized eastern country only exist so that Miyazaki can include katanas in a more western-centric feudal world? Have we been to the Land of Reeds before when we explored the world of Sekiro? Did the bloodshed of his homeland make Okina more susceptible to the power of Moog? Would the wolf have a hard time making his way through the lands between? We are sincerely looking forward to all the comments and conversations that could take place under this video. We want to hear your thoughts. And if you can find the elusive true source of Miyazaki stating that Elden Ring exists in its own separate universe, I'd love to see it so I could feel a little less crazy. 
don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss out on any of our lore dives. We look forward to seeing you again for more Elden Lore.